If you're wanting to learn how to make videos, then this is the video for you. What's up everybody? This is Roman Grant with Empire Vid, back with another video. This is going to be my first video in my How to Make Videos series. If you're new here, consider subscribing because I make videos all the time for beginner content creators like you to make the best content for your brand and your YouTube channels. Now, video editing has become a huge industry and has become a very valuable skill of the future. If you know how to create your own videos and make your own content, then you can do so for any of the social media platforms, for any kind of business, or for just personal use. But whatever you're making your videos for, you wanna make sure that you're using the best and easiest tool that you can. And it's going to be all done with the online video editor called InVideo. So with this video, I'm gonna show you an overview of the InVideo editing platform. It's an online video editor, so you don't need any expensive software like Photoshop or Premiere, and you can pick it up relatively quickly. I'd say in about 15 minutes, you can start creating your very first video. In this series, I'm gonna be diving deep into all of InVideo's features so that you can use them to create eye-catching videos for anything that you need. Now, if you're already familiar with the basics of InVideo or you already have an account, then you can go ahead and skip to one of the other videos. So without further delay, let's jump into the video. So here we are at InVideo, and first thing you're gonna need to do is to sign up for a free account. For the free account, you're just gonna need your name, email address, a password, and your phone number. The phone number doesn't need to be legit. Just put any 10 digits. As far as pricing goes, uh, the free plan does allow you to download watermark free videos. You also have access to the video templates and the standard media library. I suggest trying the upgraded plan for free for 14 days because then you can really get the feel for what this platform can do for you and your videos. If you do upgrade, I suggest going for the yearly subscription because you save 50%. The monthly is $20 a month and the yearly um, is $10 a month. And then keep in mind that if you use my coupon code that I'll put in the description, you can get another 40% off the total, which is a really good deal considering all the features that you get. So if we take a look at all the features of the different plans, you'll see that you get access to the stock media library. iStock Media is a great library for really good pictures. Um, so you get 10 of those premium images per month with the business plan. If you are just using the free plan, then it will come with a watermark. But I've been doing really great with NVIDIA's premium media library. They have over 1 million stock videos and photos to use. And you can see that you get an unlimited amount of those with the upgrade plan. As for downloads, you get 60 per month with the upgraded plan unless you go for the unlimited, but I've never been able to download 60 videos in a month. So this plan would probably be plenty for you. Now, as far as the length of videos, uh, you can only make 15 minute videos. And then the other difference between the free and the paid plans is if you're doing the free plan, you'll only be able to uh, download videos with 720p resolution. Uh, if you upgrade, you'll be able to get 1080p. And then their newest feature is the remove background feature, which means that if you have a photo and you want to uh, keep the foreground image and eliminate the background, that's what this feature does. It works really well and you can get 20 per month with the business plan. Um, you don't get any with the free plan. So like I said, try it out for 14 days, see if you like it and you can always cancel and not get charged a dime. So this is NVIDIA's dashboard where you can navigate and find different templates that you might want to use for different ad creatives or just any kind of video intro, different invitations, video ads, slideshows, business presentations, all sorts of different templates they offer that you can use with any plan. They have a search bar where you can search their different templates or you can start from a blank canvas and start from scratch. Now they have three different size video formats. The first one is the wide, which is a 16 by nine, which is good for your standard YouTube video. Then they have the square one to one ratio, and that is good for your social media feeds. 
And then they have the vertical nine by 16, which works great for your social media stories. So you just choose which format you want and then click make a video and it will take you to the editing platform. Now this is your main window, which shows the scene that you're currently working on. So this would be my first scene. Um, it's, a drag, it's a drag and drop editor. So you can just drag the different uh, elements on your project, on your scene. You can resize things as you wish, and you can even rotate them. Now over here, we have our layers panel. So think of the layers panel as looking down on your project. The top is going to be the very first element. So if you look at the scene, the very first layer is my logo. And then the second layer is the uh, text placeholder. And then the third layer is going to be your background. You can change these up by moving the layers forward or backwards or top to bottom, as I like to think about it. You have different commands that you can use. You can use copy and paste. You can use bring forward or send to the back. And you can also use the trash can to remove an element. Then they also have the grid if you're trying to line up different elements on your scene. And then if you click on an element, it will give you different options that you can customize, such as animation or the different font or size, text alignment, colors, that type of thing. Now, if you have your own brand already, you can set the brand presets for all of your projects by clicking here and then going to brand presets where you can upload your uh, brand logo and change the different colors that you want to use for your brand. And just because you have your brand presets set does not mean that you can't use custom colors as well. So then over here, we have our menu where you have your uploads option where you can upload media from your computer. Then we have the video library of NVIDIA as well as the image library. And they make it very easy to search for different types of videos and images. They give you a search bar to find the video and images that you're looking for. Then of course they have the music, which all of the music is royalty free, meaning you can use the music in your videos. And if you're using it for YouTube, you can still monetize your videos. Then you have the text option where you can add a basic text like this, or you can add some of their different uh, pre-made animated text styles. They have a lot of different title options that you can look for and use that are animated and you can customize the animation as well as the different colors. Then they've added a folders option where you can create folders to organize your uploads. Then they have different stickers that you can use and these are good for uh, Instagram stories or just different kinds of video projects. And then of course overlays which are very good and they make your videos really pop. They have different glitch effects, light leaks, confetti, smoke, and also some other cool animations that you can use uh, to overlay your videos. Then of course they have shapes that you can use to enhance your videos also. Then they have a mask feature which allows you to insert a mask and put a picture or a video inside of it. And then they have the collage feature which allows you to add multiple videos or images to one scene. Then they have a social media feature now where you can import your tweets or your Instagram posts directly into a video. So then down here we have our timeline and it starts off in the basic view which if you're just beginning Editing your video in the basic timeline is going to be very easy for you. But once you gain a better understanding of this platform, you'll be able to um, edit in the advanced timeline. And what the advanced timeline is good for is if you're having a lot of different elements on one scene and you have them doing different animations and coming into the scene at different times and leaving at different times, then this is the uh, timeline that you'll want to edit in. So you have the option to add a voiceover. You can upload it from your computer or you can record it directly into your video. Then of course, if you wanna add another scene, you just click on one of these two buttons. This play button right here will play all of your scenes together so that you can preview what your video looks like. This is the time where your playhood is currently stopped. This is the total uh, duration of your video. So it says 24 seconds right now. And this is your current scene time, which is the scene that you have selected. It is currently at 12 seconds. If you want to edit the scene time, you can click here and then you can just type in the time that you want. And then over here, you can zoom in or zoom out on your timeline. And then down here, they have your music placeholder. They always put a music track in here for you. I just click on edit and then delete it. And then I can add my own music track that I like. And if you add a voiceover to your video, it will appear here under your music track. Now, another helpful feature is the live chat. If you have any questions on how to use this platform, if something isn't going right for you, then you just type 
uh, your problem into the chat and somebody will answer your question really quickly. So then once you're done previewing your project, you would just click on download. And then of course, you can only download in 720p if you have the free plan, but if you have the paid plan, then you, you can download in 1080p. Now this online video editor is meant to be used on Google Chrome. I've had issues in the past where I've used other browsers and I've always had a glitch or something where it didn't allow me to edit properly. So to avoid all that, just open it up in Google Chrome. Now NVIDIA automatically saves your work every few minutes automatically and it puts your projects into a projects folder. So you can have access to them all the time. If you want to download them at a different computer, all you need is an internet connection. So you can choose to edit the project, duplicate it, or delete it. Well, that's the end of the video. Thanks for sticking around to the end. If you got something out of it, hit that thumbs up for me. And don't forget to check out the next video in my series for NVIDIA, where we're gonna be going over how to use the basic and the advanced timeline and explaining how to use both of them efficiently. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.